That means it's probably not long, right? It's probably not for long. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of guys stand, stood out to you in the first week of fall camp on defense? Uh, you know, th we didn't we didn't bring anybody new in uh, in fall. We've we've got most well. I mean, okay, the corners are new, but. Um, other than that, there's you know it's uh, really just uh, hitting it where we left off, bringing back the guys that were banged up, and um, getting the young guys in you know uh, in there to, to see what they can do. But uh, it's really really just been kind of on par from what we've done in the spring up to up to now. What have you seen out of Gabe through the rally? Do you think he's a guy that could push to start potentially? Just yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're we're going to need corners this year. I mean, we've got ten games with no buy, and so. That's one of the messages that we've talked to our defense about is we've got a lot of good players out there. We've got guys that are going to be playing uh, maybe roles that they didn't expect, uh, backup roles and, and not starting roles, but we're going to need all of them. And, we, and you know, last year we, it, it showed that um, it, it, it was exactly the case. You know, we ended up losing some guys and, and needed them. So we're going to need all of them. We're going to need everybody bought in and contributing one way or the other. One, one position last year where you guys lost a lot to injuries and – had to force younger guys to kind of step up as linebacker. Mm -hmm. What was that done for the progression of that group in fall camp this year to have all those guys? Have yeah, so it's much it's experience? been it's been good. You know, you get uh, uh, Max Max Tule and Ben Bywater got tons of reps last year and starting roles, and now we've uh, you know the ability to move them around and, and still keep the bat. You know, when we added Peyton back and Keenan back, I and mean, it just brings a lot of dynamic, a little bit more depth as well, and so. Um, but, but I mean, those guys are playing like starters. I'm talking about Ben and, and Max and all those. They're playing, um, you know, like, like they can take over the jobs. And so we have good players at that spot and just uh, managing the injuries and just, um, you know, keeping certain packages to make sure that we get everybody on the field is, is going to be the key. How do you feel about the tier of guys behind them, like Jackson Kafusi and Tavita Gagne and those guys? Yeah, yeah, those guys have certainly done a really good job too. I mean. Uh, Kavika coming in has, has done a good job. Um, looks really, really good. Kavika's had a good, good uh, fall camp so far, and then Jackson Kafusi's had a really fall camp as well. Pepe Tanavas is another one. I mean, those guys that are that are uh, the, the next tier of backers that are getting in that we're gonna we're gonna need snaps from. Um, think think that 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 room's doing a really good job right now, and Galani and Kloon are doing a good job with managing it. Why is Pepe moved from D N to linebacker? Uh, just different need, different need at a different time. You know, when he was playing uh, primarily uh, uh, open end for us, it was, it was, it's a hybrid position. That's what Logan Funnels ended up playing, and and, and so it's a guy that uh, you know has the ability to drop, but also ability to rush. And so Pepe brings us uh, you know different strengths in different ways, and we need him at at Mike Backer this fall, and so that's that's why we moved him. How do you feel about that overall depth? Because you touched on it, you're going to need lots of guys with that schedule and you know, yeah. 10 weeks. How do you feel it's looking right now? Yeah, feel feel good about the depth. Um, you know, we're try, trying to solidify the secondary right now. Felt like we got four corners that can play. We got a couple of nickels that we feel like we can rotate. Um, trying to trying to nail down who the, the safeties are and what packages and and who the contributors are is, is really probably where we're at right now uh, in that position more than any others. This is the second straight year you'll play those 10 straight games before you guys get that bye week. Did you learn anything from last year that you can take into this season? I mean, you gotta. We've got to stay healthy, you know. And so, um, it's it's always tough in those type games to think that you're going to rotate, um, you know, to, to get get some of your down the line guys in order to keep your starters healthy. But you can't play, you can't play so many snaps with your starters, or else you start to lose them towards the end of the year. Um, I've always done that with the defensive line, just because it's something that I started uh, with when I was still with Kalani at Utah, and I really liked it. You keep you keep your guys healthy, you bring them along. The younger guys get a couple snaps, and it's just enough to get you know get some experience, but also keep everybody healthy. And then um, I think we're at a point right now where we 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 see that, we know that, we've got to make sure that we're smart with all the other positions doing that. What are you doing to be more effective against the line? Um, it's it really is just uh, as we went back. So the the year that uh, Wisconsin came here and just uh, and, and beat us up pretty good. Um, we went into Wisconsin the very next year and uh, didn't really change much of the game plan. We just felt like it was just certain personnel groupings and, and guys in certain spots. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> Um, and, and so, you know, there's there's some things that you should change schematically, but for the most part, it's uh, you're getting into some of those games. It's got to be, for us, as we're looking at it, we've, we've got to 
We've got to make sure that we're, we're, we're ensure the, the schematical part, but also make sure that the right guys are in the right places. And so, you know, the first year we played Wisconsin, Sione Taktaki was playing a defensive end. The next year we moved into middle backward. And so it's just like getting bigger at certain positions and just getting the right guys on the field is going to be more of what we're looking for this year. And a tackle, can you address uh, Brooks Miley and Nisa missing out at least so far in full camp? Yeah, not, Nice is still a health thing. And so as soon as we get him back, because he had shoulder surgery, um, in the spring and, and he, he's just not ready yet and so when he's ready then we'll bring him back and Brooks is the same Brooks is a shoulder issue guy um, he had shoulder surgery we just I, I don't want to I don't want to bring him back too soon because he's probably going to be on scout team anyways I don't want to put him on scout team and have him beat up and then get hurt again and so his is more of just we want to we want to protect his future instead of bring him in and just try to beat him up on scout team so with Logan Bono, like obviously in the spring making a big jump and potentially pushing to start but then getting hurt, is there a guy in the fall that you think, a younger guy that can make a similar like push in the fall to make have a, a lot of playing time come week one or week five or whatever it is? No, probably. I mean, we're still, it's still uh, up in the air. There's still a lot of guys pushing for that spot. I mean, we've moved uh, Batty to the open end spot and he's playing that um, and he's doing a great job. And, and uh, Fisher, Fisher Jackson, um, you know, Alden Tofa is there. Uh, Ice Moa is there as well as uh, Logan Latouille and so those guys will just basically rep that spot and we'll play the guys that are ready. Coach, what do you feel is the strength of your defense a little bit over a week of camp? That's a tough, tough question. I think I think we're uh, I think we're pretty sound uh, across the board. You know, I don't. Um, you know, when we lost those backers last year, it was a it was a big big hit to the defense, and I think that that showed. But um, I think right now, with all of them back, we're we're pretty sound all across the board. Are you feeling any? I don't know. If pressure's the word, but yes, a lot of people are talking about the offense and saying if the defense, blah blah blah. Oh, are you pressure are you, that way? No. Yeah, just to, to basically. No, no. I mean, we we we've got a we've got an outstanding offense. Um, you look back at last year when we played, I mean, especially those first couple of games, uh, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah game, and those were all tight games. And so we both yeah, needed to, I mean, we needed the whole team to, to, to show up in order to win games. And so, um, you know, there's, yeah, we've got a great offense. I think we've got a great defense, and we've got to put it together in order to string together wins against the schedule that we've got. In what way are you feeling pressure? There's always pressure. <laughs> There's, there's always pressure, and then there's uh, guys that think they know that uh, how to do my job. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, there's always pressure, and there's we've got so uh, the pressure is really we've got a good team. There's no doubt we've got a good team, and we we just got to make sure that we uh, we put guys in the right position and um, put ourselves in position to win games because I think that we can win a lot of games. Um, with the team that we've got. Is there an added urgency just with the amount of re returning production that this year, like you have to capitalize on it, have to get to a certain level of wins or not really? No, not really. It's, it's I mean, you're trying to win every game every year. And so, but I think that, um, you know, we, we can make a lot of noise early, just like we did last year. You know, we can string together some wins in the first five, six games. I mean, you're looking pretty, pretty darn good. And, and uh, we've got, it's the same thing as, as it was last year. You know, when we, came out of those, uh, those those first few games with wins, it's, you know, everybody knows how good your team is. So we've got to stay healthy and continue to, to stay consistent.